Frederick became a slave to Mr. and Mrs. Alds. When he first met Mrs. Alds, he found her a woman of the kindest heart and finest feelings, he said. He realized that she never had had a slave under her control prior to this occasion. Hence, she treated him the way she was supposed to treat another human being. Frederick said, she was entirely unlike any other white woman, and her face was made of heavenly smiles and her voice of tranquil music. Very soon after Frederick went to live with Mr. and Mrs. Ald, she began to teach him to read and write. When Frederick was about to learn to spell words, Mr. Ald informed Mrs. Ald that it was unlawful and unsafe to teach a slave to read. Mr. Ald said, if you give nigger an inch, he will take an L. A nigger should know nothing but to obey his master, to do as he is told to do. Learning would spoil the best nigger in the world. If you teach that nigger how to read, there would be no keeping him. It would forever unfit him to be a slave. He would at once become unmanageable and of no value to his master. As to himself, it could do him no good, but a great deal of harm. It would make him discontented and unhappy. At that moment, Frederick realized that if a black man became literate and educated, he would pose a great threat to the power held by white men, power to enslave a black man. Frederick also noticed that Mrs. Alds was deeply influenced by her husband's ideas about slavery. From then on, he said, her tender heart became stone and the lamb-like disposition gave way to one of tiger-like fierceness. She stopped teaching him how to read and write and began to implement her husband's precepts. She finally became even more violent than her husband. As Frederick said, she was not satisfied with simply doing as well as he had commanded. She seemed anxious to do better. She became very angry if she saw Frederick with a newspaper. She was convinced that education and slavery were incompatible and felt threatened whenever she found her slave reading a newspaper. Frederick wrote, slavery proved as injurious to her as it did to me. As he said, it turned a pious, warm, and tender-hearted woman into an angry and violent presser.